Hey guys, this is Mama Mate. I'm gonna go ahead and take you along with me in making this craft. So I like to drive by people's garbage and just look and see if I see anything that looks salvageable. Um, I found this, uh, it was actually a neighbor a couple houses up. We drove past and I saw this big stack of shutters and I was really excited because I've seen super cute shutter crafts on Pinterest. So, um, we had to go somewhere. So when we got back, I walked up there and there was only this one and then a really big one. But when I lifted up this one, there was a humongous spider on the big one and I, I hate spiders. So I was like, hmm, I'll just leave the big one there and someone else can get that one. So someone had already come by and taken these. Now these are like plastic, so they're not the, like the nice wooden ones, but that doesn't really matter for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try making a fall craft and maybe give you guys some inspiration. Anytime you see people's trash sitting along the road, if you think you make a craft out of it, go for it, stop and pick it up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and wash this thing up. Um, it's, I know I'm gonna sit it outside. It could actually be left inside. Um, my kids will knock it over if I leave it inside. So I think I'm just gonna have it as an outdoor decoration. So I'm just gonna go ahead, wash this out in my sink. Then I'm gonna go just put it outside by my front porch and let the wind and the sun dry it off before I put my um, Dollar Tree flowers and leaves and the little letters that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I will see you guys once I get this thing all washed up. So the supplies I used for this project was of course the shutter that I found laying in someone's garbage alongside the road. Um, so I don't know if you wanna go out and buy a brand new one. I think they're like 25 to 30 bucks. I would not do that. I would just drive around and maybe hope you find someone's uh, trash shutter. Always look in trash piles alongside of the road and see if there's something you can use for craft projects. But anyway, that was completely free. And then I picked up these, um, they were called wood pile letters. They were $1.49 at Hobby Lobby. However, they were 50% off. Um, now you really need to watch at Hobby Lobby. They have so many things that are 50% off and it's so weird that they don't have their computer system set up to know what's 50% off, I guess. I don't know, they still have to punch in the actual item. So they did not ring up 50% off even though the sign was up and I had to tell the lady, uh, they're 50% off and she was like, oh really? So then she had to correct that. So I went ahead and picked up those, um, and got those for 75 cents a piece. And then I picked up a little, um, a little bunch of leaves and then a bunch of mums that I found at Dollar Tree. So I was about $5 that I paid for this project and it really turned out really cute. So first I just laid everything out how I wanted it. Um, before I glued it down, my husband thought, thought that the fall letters looked better going vertical instead of horizontally. And then once I got everything um, situated the way I wanted to, I just took my hot glue gun and moved things around and glued them down. So I did the letters first. I just glued completely on all parts of the letter and then I just flipped it over and pressed it down. And um, with, the, with the florals and the leaves, I ended up just moving them around a little bit and just gluing them to the front. Um, I did glue a little bit to the back, but they were pretty secure on the front. So I didn't um, do a whole lot there on the back, as you can see.
here is what the project looks like at the end and I really really just love how it turned out um, you could do really anything with this you could change up the letters to be your last name you could change it to home to make it more of a um, year-round you could change up the florals you could even spray paint the letters or the shutters there's so many possibilities you can look on Pinterest to get some more ideas um, so this is what it turned out like and I was so excited with the finished project as well as with the cost with it only being like five dollars for this cute outdoor decoration now I ended up just putting it out on my porch and I did put a pumpkin in front of it to kind of help stabilize it and to add some cuteness but it just looks so cute I absolutely love it um, now with the pumpkin it does help stabilize it since this is a vinyl shutter if I would have had a wooden shutter it would probably be a lot better but um, with the wind and stuff uh, it needs something to sit in front of it now maybe if you have an apartment you can get away with if it's an indoor entrance you can get away with not putting something in front of it but for me that's what I went ahead and did so that's it for this video thanks so much for watching